you don't need validation from anyone. I'm not one of those people that's like, hey, sexy, how's it going? He's for the streets. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Lauren Gray, and today I'm going to be answering your dating questions. So the first question is, what do you do when your crush doesn't reply and it's been a day? I've definitely been in this situation before and I would say, remember your self-worth. If someone isn't going to answer you now, then you definitely don't wanna get into a relationship with them because they're just not gonna answer. Obviously, they're not giving you the time of day. So I would say, remember your self-worth, move on, move along with your day, try not to think about it and just know that you don't need anyone's, you don't need anyone's, What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> validation. You don't need validation from anyone. <laughs> okay, so the next question is a pretty deep one. It's how do you know if you're in love for real? And I've asked myself this many a times and I feel like there's no real way to know. I feel like, you know, love is defined by whatever you define it as. So if you feel like you're in love, then hey, maybe you're in love. I feel like there's no, there's no way of telling. It's just something that you feel personally. And if you feel like you love someone, then tell them you love them. Why am I always the single lonely one in the group? And I've definitely been there before. And it's not always a bad thing to be the single one in your group. You know, you can have more fun. And it just means that you're waiting for the right person or the right person hasn't come into your life yet. And when they do, you'll be set. But until then, enjoy your life, live your life because you only get to be single. I was gonna say you only get to be single once, but that's really not true. <laughs> enjoy being single, it's fun. Okay, so this one says, how do I flirt over text? Um, I mean, I'm kind of, the type of person and that flirts by making jokes so i like to see if someone has a sense of humor that i can kind of bounce off of i'm not one of those people that's like hey sexy how's it going because that's not really what i look for in a relationship so i'd say try to build a friendship first um, with the person that you like and then it can escalate but i'd say i i, I like to make jokes and uh, stuff like that <laughs> Okay, so this is a good one. It says, I'm dating this guy and I don't have feelings for him anymore, but he really, really likes me. How do I tell him I want to break up without hurting his feelings too much? I've been put in this situation so many times and if you don't like someone anymore, please y'all do not string along relationships that aren't working. If you don't have feelings for someone, don't string them along, um, be honest. I think is the best response for that. Be upfront and honest about the way you're feeling. They'll appreciate it much more than if you were to string along a relationship. I really hate seeing when people start being mean to their significant other or treating someone badly to try to get them to leave the relationship. The best thing you can do is be upfront and honest and hopefully you guys will be able to be friends along the way. But if you don't have feelings for someone, don't force anything. My boyfriend keeps flirting with other girls. He says he's just having fun, but I hate it. How do I get him to stop? He's for the streets. <laughs> I mean, if, if you and your boyfriend have different definitions of boundaries, like if he thinks that's okay and you don't, maybe there, there needs to be a talk that happens. Or if you've already had that conversation, maybe it's just not the right fit. Um, I feel like sometimes in relationships people have different definitions of what's okay and what's not okay and if your kind of values don't line up, uh, they might never line up. You can't really change someone hoping that you know they'll, they'll fit who you want them to be. So I would say maybe the relationship isn't going to work, <laughs> but definitely have that conversation and try to get him to see your point of view. <laughs> I've never been in this situation, but this one says, how do I tell my crush I like him when we work together and his mom is my boss? Okay, that's a little bit of a tricky one. I feel like if you like someone, surely there's no harm in telling them that you like them. And I don't think his mom being your boss is gonna have that much of an impact if you guys do decide to pursue a relationship. The breakup might be another situation but we're not talking about that so i would say go for it uh if he doesn't feel the same way that's okay you you, sh you shot you're shot and that's all you can do and i'd say give it a shot give it give it a shot i don't know why i can't talk give it a chance and if his mom likes you that's a plus you already know her 
This one says, my crush told me he likes me, but he told his friends he doesn't like me like that and that we're just friends. Is he lying to me or them? What do I do? Okay, so I've always been the kind of person where if someone isn't willing to claim me as theirs um, to their friends, it seems like they're kind of hiding something and they're not really proud to be with you and you definitely don't deserve to be in a situation like that. Uh, if he's already telling his friends that, then I definitely wouldn't want to pursue a relationship with someone who's not, uh, you know, confident in being with me or having a crush on me. I don't know. I just feel like that's a serious red flag and I would try to stay away from that. I don't like that. I'm sorry. That You shouldn't have to deal with that. This one says, I'm a very outgoing girl, so I've always been the one to ask guys out, but I want a guy to ask me out for once. How do I make that happen? <laughs> Okay, I would say that I get it because I'm an outgoing girl as well, but you can't really make someone ask you out. I feel like if they want to, they will, and you just have to wait for the right person to come along and ask you. And I don't know, I feel like a lot of it comes with patience and just trusting that the right person will come along and they'll pop the question. Not the marriage question, but the dating question. So I would just say patience is important, but I get it. I'm the kind of person who likes to rush into things as well. So maybe take it slow, I don't know. Okay, I hope you guys learned something <laughs> or took something away from this, me answering dating questions, giving you guys advice. Thank you so much, 17, for having me. I love you guys, have a good day. Mwah.